Namaste, welcome to Tita's Kitchen. Uh, one of my subscribers, Nayana, has been asking me for some uh, side dishes using these uh, vegetable side dishes. So today I had this uh, bitter gourd, also known as Kakar Kaya or Pavakai in Tamil, Karela in Hindi. So I am going to make a, a different kind of side dish, not the regular stir fry. We are going to make Pavakai Puli Pachadi. Pavaka is the name for bitter gourd, puli is tamarind. So we are going to make a kind of gravy using tamarind juice and this uh, bitter gourd. So I have taken two bitter gourds of this size, washed them, I have chopped the ends out like this, I have taken it out and we have to just cut it into fine pieces. If there are any seeds, you can remove them, this does not have much seeds. So I am just chopping it up into fine pieces like this. The other ingredients required are tamarind, one uh, large lemon size ball like this, some turmeric powder, asafoetida, this is dhania or coriander seeds, jeera or cumin seeds, dry red chilli, I have taken the baidege or Kashmiri variety which is not very spicy. A few fenugreek or methi seeds, some urad dal, mustard seeds, a few black peppercorns, oil, salt, some chilli powder. So the first step is we have to soak this tamarind in water. So that when we have to add it will be easy to extract the juice. So soak it in about one cup of water. While that is soaking we will first fry for the masala so take a spoon of oil in a pan and the chilies I have taken about six to eight of these uh, baidege chilies saute them then this is the uh, raw coriander seeds cumin seeds you can take 2 teaspoons and just about half a teaspoon of methi seeds and 1 teaspoon of black pepper saute all of them together Do it over a low flame so that the spices are not burnt. Once they are well fried, remove them. We can allow it to cool and then grind them into a powder. Put the pan back on heat and add some oil to it, about 2 spoons of oil. Add the chopped bitter gourd pieces to this. Add a pinch of turmeric powder, add salt to taste, and also some hing or asafoetida. Stir fry it for a few minutes. Allow it to cook, keep it on a low flame. Meanwhile, you can extract the juice from the tamarind which we have soaked. Now we have extracted the tamarind juice, pour it into this. First I had soaked it in one cup of water. And then while extracting the juice, I added another 2 cups. So totally 3 cups of water we have used for extracting this tamarind juice. Allow it to come to a boil and the bitter gourd also should be cooked. Meanwhile, we can grind our masala into a powder. Ground this into powder. It need not be very fine. It can be slightly coarse. 
getting a wonderful aroma from this. We we'll just keep this aside and wait for the bitter goat to be cooked. See now it has boiled well. Let's check if the bitter goat is cooked. Cooked also well and it has become soft. Now this masala which we have ground, add it to this. See, I have used only the Baidike chilies, so it will not be very spicy. If you have only the regular Guntur chilies, then reduce the number of chilies just to about uh, 2 or 3, otherwise it will become very spicy. Actually, I am going to add a little bit of chilli powder also to this. Now it all to boil again for another 5 minutes till it comes together to a thick gravy consistency. See the consistency how it has thickened well. Almost like what we make for uh, tamarind rice, the pulikachal or the tamarind paste which we make. Similar kind of consist consistency is what we require. Finally, add some uh, curry leaves to this I have taken about a teaspoon of jaggery finally add it to that and mix it well remove it. have to do the tempering. Heat a spoon of oil. Add half a spoon of mustard seeds. Allow them to splutter. And half teaspoon of uraddal. Pour it over this Pavakai Puli Pachadi. This is an excellent side dish. You can have it along with rice or even along with uh, chapati. It tastes good. Do try out the recipe. Share it with your family and friends and come back to Geeta's Kitchen for more such easy tasty recipes. Thank you.